So um, this quote we have up on the screen behind us, we think, um, does a really great job of kind of articulating the thrust behind our research project, and that is the, the disconnect in society today between people uh, and the, the physical spaces that they inhabit. Um, this is an issue that has enormous implications for public health. It's one that's being addressed in a number of different ways uh, today, and, and one of those ways is through um, school yard garden initiatives. So these three kind of principles are environmental stewardship and gardening, exercise, and nutrition. And as Aaron said, we try to kind of incorporate these into the lesson each day. It usually started with an exercise, whether that was yoga or again football, um, and then having a snack and then doing a lesson. Um, one of my favorite examples uh, is what we did in the first two days. So in the first day, we introduced students to the garden, kind of issues about gardening, why we garden, um, topics like harvesting and things of that sort. We harvested potatoes, green onions, and basil from the garden. And then uh, the next week, we talked about cooking techniques. Uh, and how that can impact the nutritional value of what you're eating. Um, so the difference between frying a potato and baking a potato, um, we were able to take that produce that we had harvested from the square garden and cook it, and we made big hash browns out of the kids. So in order to gauge what kind of positive impact these lessons were having on the students in their lives at home and in school, we conducted pre and post club assessments which were more in depth, like 25 minute uh, questionnaires about their perceptions of nutrition and environmental stewardship and exercise. And then additionally, each week we had students fill out weekly journals or blog posts which asked them to reflect on that day's lesson. And we also conducted uh, written recordings of students' verbal reactions to club lessons and their discussions and how they were starting to incorporate uh, lessons throughout the weeks across the course of the semester. And the data that we found both quantitatively and qualitatively found that indeed these students were starting to incorporate these lessons into uh, their habits at home and in school and um, we were helping them to develop healthy habits. One last question. Great. Uh, so as Katie just mentioned, um, our research and our project helped to increase the presence of the schoolyard garden as an outdoor learning space. Um, and we are looking forward to the next JPC team coming in um, to increase, to expand <laughs> the garden through um, a trail that connects different garden nodes across Rolling Grants grounds to further increase the presence of outdoor learning spaces. <laughs> 